Consistent visual branding is key to standing out and remaining memorable online. Traditionally, creating one cohesive visual identity is extremely difficult, especially if there are multiple people creating. That is, until Kapoing released the ability to create brand templates. Brand templates help streamline the content creation process, since anybody on your team can start from a template and then customize it to their specific project's needs. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create three different kinds of brand templates. Before you begin, you'll need to populate your team's brand kit. A brand kit is a guide that breaks down the basic components of your brand's visual identity. And once you've created yours, Kapwing will instantly include all of your brand's colors, fonts, logos, and other assets directly into the editor for everybody in your team workspace. For a tutorial on how to set up your brand kit, click the link in the description of this video. For my first template, I'm going to start with a pre-existing template from kapwing.com forward slash templates. Kapwing has a large library of customizable templates to start your projects from. Let's go with this Instagram story template. Let's make this template on brand for our company, Hobbs Inc. As you can see, our brand kit colors are immediately laid out in the editor. This means I can very quickly change the background color of the template, as well as any other assets that have customizable colors. I can also change the fonts to be consistent with our brands. After clicking on the text and heading to the drop down menu, you'll see that the brand fonts are always going to be displayed first. Now we just have one last thing. If we head to media and click on my media, all of our brand media and logos are automatically displayed. I'm going to add our logo to the bottom right hand corner of this Instagram story so that people can identify the post as ours. Perfect. Once I'm done, I'm going to rename the project and find the project in my workspace. In order to turn this project into a brand template, click the drop down menu and click Save as Brand Template. We've successfully created our first brand template. The second template we're going to make is for the Hobbs Inc. YouTube channel. Every week, the Hobbs marketing team has to ask a graphic designer to design a thumbnail for the weekly YouTube video. Today, we're going to create a template that the team can use every time they need a YouTube thumbnail. Start by heading over to the brand kit and clicking Create New Template. This will take you into the studio. This project is in YouTube size, so we're going to need a 16 by nine canvas. Every thumbnail on the Hobbs YouTube channel includes a photo that was taken within the YouTube video. To account for this, I'm going to add a placeholder that my teammates can replace in the future with the photo that they want to include in the thumbnail. To add a placeholder, I'm going to head to the templates tab on the left and click add placeholder. Next, I'm going to add text that my teammates can replace in the future with the title of the video. Because I filled in the brand kit, every text that I add to a project now defaults to the brand font Playfair. Now let's add a logo to the corner of the video, as well as a catchy arrow that can be pointed to the subject of the thumbnail. This YouTube thumbnail template is done. The third template we're going to make is for the Hobbs Inc. podcast episodes. Every week, the Hobbs Inc. social media team creates a social media post promoting the Hobbs podcast. Since the design of every social media post is the exact same, we're going to create a template that will allow them to create this post in just a few clicks from now on. I'm going to start again by creating a new template, and this time I'm going to choose a one by one canvas for Instagram. I'm going to start by changing the background color to the brand orange and I'm going to add some replaceable text. I'm going to add another placeholder for the center cover photo of the podcast, which changes for each episode. Since every social media post the marketing team creates for the Hobbs podcast lasts exactly 60 seconds, I'm going to set a duration for the template. To do this, I'm going to click on the placeholder, click duration, custom duration, and type in 60. Now we've created a timeline for all of the assets in this project. Now I'm going to add a logo to the bottom right hand corner. And in hopes of increasing viewer retention, I'm going to add a progress bar to the video. And I'm going to drag it out to last 60 seconds. We've created a successful podcast promo template. 
Now in the future, all the marketing team will have to do is start a project from this template, replace this placeholder with a cover image, and add the audio of the podcast. Let's head back to our workspace to see our brand templates in action. Now, all of our brand templates will always be at the top of our workspace. All I have to do to start a project from one is click on that template, edit a bit of the text, importing any necessary media, replacing the placeholder with that media, and making minor adjustments. And there you have it, the fastest and easiest way to create on-brand content as a team. For more tutorials on Kapwing Teams, check out the playlist linked in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.